that we got. It was early in the morning yesterday, on the 13th, actually, 23rd November, from uh, our uh, actually friends and family members. That's something. We had uh, four family members uh, that were in this bus line Istanbul to, to Skopje. That's Anissa, the youngest one, uh, 14 years old. Her mother, uh, 37 years old, Fikriye Iseni. Our uncle, Hamdi Iseni, and uh, his wife uh, uh, also. So that those four family members were in, in this bus actually coming to Skopje. And uh, the first first news that we got it was early in the morning yesterday, on the 13th, actually, 23rd November, from uh, our uh, actually friends and family members that something happened. Uh, I had to visit first the office of the agency BESA. Uh, it was surrounded with uh, a lot of actually police, special police forces. Nobody was there, and uh, it took only a few minutes to decide and then drive into to Sofia, to Bulgaria, in order to get actually more information regarding this issue. And for less than three hours, we arrived in, in Sofia. First of all, we had to visit the actually main hospital in, in Sofia and uh, to check up the list of all injured that are actually in, in that hospital in three actually four floors that they are actually uh, and unfortunately none of them was in, 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 in that actually list and uh, we know that they are in the other list actually that uh, lost their lives it's a very, very sad moment for us, actually for our family, for four members that we lost actually in a in, in single accident and uh, really it is very painful for us. So we have no idea what's going on because in this small region in, in Balkans, these accidents are happening very often, so 